Hi there, so you've just done a, a cycle, just had a cycle with your Zos um, GPS thing and you just can't get it to sync with Strava, okay? So you've tried my other videos and this is your last hope. There's two things you can do. Let me show you the, the easiest one, the best one to get all that information from just the old activity the old ride that you just can't get through i'm going to share a screen right now so here we are we're on our zos app okay um pretty straightforward and then let's have a look at the workout so you've got all your workouts here in zos so you've loaded those through using the sync function like you normally would and it runs nearly every time but there's an app there's one on there you just can't get it through no matter what you do you can't get it through You've tried rebooting, you've tried reloading, none of it seems to work. So this is what you have to do. And it's a little bit convoluted, but it works. So what you do is you find your ride there and you click on the ride. Okay, first of all. And then what you can then do, if I move my little thing out of the way, at the top here, let me just see if I can um, show you up here. At the top there, there's a button which allows you to export this or share the the um, ride so let's do that again so at the top of the page here there's that little button there okay so what you do you click on that that'll export it allows you to share it the trouble is it doesn't allow you to share it to anywhere on your device this is on android so what you have to do is email it to yourself okay so email it to yourself and then when you receive your own email you then want to save as the file and what this file will be like, if you can see in the middle of the screen here at the moment, it basically looks like that. It's a fit file with a long number. Excuse me, because I'm just coming from a ride. It's a fit file with a long number before it, okay? So what you need to do is, as I say, save that. Um, you export that using the share button to yourself, okay? So after you've done that, what you then need to do is you need to go into Google and you need to find... Strava in a desktop mode to allow you to bring that in. So let's go into Google right now. So I'm going to go into Google and I'm going to say how to manually load to Strava. What you're actually looking for is how to get your activities onto Strava. You can see in the middle of the page there. Click on that. And then if you follow this down here, so you're on how to get your activities onto Strava on support.strava.com, then you need to work your way down until you get to Strava, you may find device listed here. Don't use that first one. So don't use the device listed here um, in there. Don't use that. What you want to do is use this one. So this is the one where it's after the fit format. You see foot format there? So you can basically click on that and what that will then do is take you in to the Strava. Let me move my face out of the way so I can move around here and show you what I've got to do. This will take you onto Strava. Now here you can see all the different sync activities. Don't go there. Go to file. So click on file. So you're going to upload a file. Then in here you choose the file. Can you see that there? Pretty straightforward. Choose your file there. Okay. So that's what you're trying to do there. Just trying to choose that file. When you choose the file, it'll then go into um, meet. You then search for your media, and basically in there, if I can find it, here you can get your get your um, file that you just downloaded from your email. So you might want to set up a Zos folder on your uh, on your phone within downloads to then load that file into and that's where you upload from okay so what basically happens then folks is when you land it back into Strava into Strava in the end you will end up with on your um, on your activity log here for you you'll find your ride in there so just remember like I say when you go to home here there's another alternative you can go in and create your own um, activity which is by going home at the bottom left there hitting the plus icon manual activity that allows you to load something in and create an activity manually but it doesn't link it to the to the gps so you can do that in strava instead create that upload that share on your activity just share 
that data at the top of the page there in SOS to your email, okay, to your own email address, you're emailing it to yourself, put it somewhere safe, then follow the links into the desktop on Strava and follow what I've done. That should work. Hopefully that worked for you. Give me a thumbs up if it does. Catch you guys on the Strava Zos Schmosh flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself.